In this video, we'll look at an example of how we can apply the quantization conditions given by the WKB approximation for a particle confined to a potential. So for that, we'll consider a particle in a symmetric linear potential given by Vx sigma absolute value of x. Uh, sigma just gives you a measure of how quickly uh, the potential is sloping. Uh, with uh, and the particle has some energy E indicated here by this orange line, giving us two classical turning points. We would like to uh, estimate the bound state energy of this particle. Using uh, this condition. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is find where the classical turning points are. In terms of the known variables in our problem. And those are the energy and the potential. And this happens whenever uh, the potential is equal to the energy. And when this is equal to sigma absolute value of x. And as you can see from the graph, this will be uh, symmetric. So you'll have one value for a positive x and another value for uh, a negative x. This gives says x1 is minus the energy over sigma and x2 is the positive of that quantity, the energy over sigma. From our WKB energy quantization condition which is this over here. We get then that the integral from minus e over sigma, e over sigma. So those are our classical turning points, x1 and x2. So n e minus vx. We take this form because we're looking at this region over here where the energy is higher than the potential. We're integrating with respect to x. And this has to equal uh, n minus one half pi h bar where n can be one, two, three, etc. Okay, so Plugging in the expression for the potential, we have sigma absolute value of x. Uh, this, because it's a symmetric potential, this is the same thing as saying this is equal to two times the integral from over here, the origin to uh, this turning point. This integral will give you the same thing as the integral from this turning point to zero. And we can rewrite this. like so. Uh, if we let x prime equal to sigma e over x, so that the x prime is uh, sigma e dx, uh, the bounds of integration will change to being uh, zero to one instead of zero to e over sigma. And what we get eventually 
is something that looks like this. So the integral will give us two thirds. This e over sigma comes from uh, our substitution. And we said this has to be equal to n minus one half pi h bar. So um, we're interested in the energy, which we can now start assigning a subscript corresponding to the value of n and isolating for this energy. So this is our WKB estimate. This is after a little bit of massaging. So this is the expression for our bound state energy for a particle confined to this potential. If you uh, compare this with what you would obtain if you were to numerically uh, solve this equation, so this is exact. And this one is our WKB estimate. So initially, uh, you don't get very good agreement. This is about 0.80, this is about 0.88. Uh, but as you increase N, so as you get closer and closer to the semi-classical regime, you start getting better agreement between the numerical solution and the exact one. We're over here, we're off by only 0 0.005 about. Uh, this is in units of sigma squared h bar squared over m. So if these values are uh, in terms of this. So I haven't plugged in the exact numbers for, for this. Okay, so as expected, as n increases, our WKB solution gets fairly close to the exact one. Okay, so this is how, this is an example of how you use the energy quantization condition derived from the WKB approximation to estimate bound state energies.